Welcome back to the Calm Mon Survival Guide. Today I'm going to teach you how to catch Articuno. The first step is you need to have the Legendary Encounters mod downloaded. If you don't have this downloaded, I'll include the link in the description. And I have this video right here that I'll also link in the description that teaches you how to download and install this data pack. But once you have that mod installed, all you need are four ice stones, a beacon, nine blocks of iron. And if you don't know how to get a beacon, in my video on how to catch Rayquaza, I show you a way to get a beacon extremely easily in Cobblemon. Then as long as you got plenty of Pokeballs and you're ready to fight, you just need to head over to a snowy plains biome. If you're not sure if you're in a snowy plains biome, you can click on F3 and it'll pull up this thing right here and you can check down in the corner what biome you're in. Once you're here, all you need to do is build a simple three by three beacon with these nine blocks of iron. So you'll place them like this and then put a beacon on top. If you're worried about what Pokeballs to use, I would build, bring at least one quick ball several Ultra Balls, and then primarily Timer Balls. And I'll show you the strategy as we catch Articuno, what I think is the easiest way to do it. Then once you're here, just interact with the beacon with your four ice stones, and you'll see that Articuno spawns. And he looks absolutely awesome. We're gonna enter into battle with him before he runs away on us. Now, for Pokemon to use, the strategy is you're gonna start first with a Quick Ball, and we'll see if we get lucky like we did with Rayquaza. And so we'll see here. But other than that, you really just want a high level Pokemon with false swipe and hypnosis. All right, so we did not catch him on the first one, unfortunately. So we're gonna try and false swipe him down. He is super effective to Glade, which is unfortunate because he might knock him out, but looks like false swipe is doing enough. We should be fine. So we will put him down to 1% and then we'll put him to sleep and we'll start throwing ultra balls. And once it gets to round 10, then we can start doing timer balls because they will be far more effective than ultra balls. I think they're twice as effective as ultra balls after round 10. So I've, once you get to this point, it's honestly pretty simple. You just keep them at low health, throw ultra balls and timer balls until you catch him. And that's pretty much it. Now the one caution would be, if you don't have the highest level Pokemon, Articuno could sweep through your team while you're trying to catch him. So I would make sure that you bring some max revives with you. If you don't know how to ca ha get max revives, I do have another video about that on the survival guide series. I'll link all these videos I keep talking about in the description below. He knocked out Gallade, so we'll switch to Snorlax. Uh, Snorlax is here mainly to tank, and he has Yawn. So we'll use that as well to help Articuno fall asleep. And it's now turn 10. So on turn 10, we switch to timer balls. And this should make catching him much easier. He'll fall asleep the next turn as well, which will increase the likelihood of us catching him. He broke free, but he should fall asleep. All right, and now we'll see if we can catch him with this timer ball. And after this, it's pretty much just a matter of time. So I would keep at least a stack of timer balls and you'll cruise through them. It might take you a minute, but you should catch him eventually. If he wakes up, I just put him back to sleep again. Now you can try and, Articuno actually you can't freeze I think because he's an ice type. Uh, I'm not completely sure on that, you can double check me. You could try and paralyze him, um, which is easier because you don't have to keep doing it over and over again. But I believe when Pokemon are asleep, their catch rate is a little bit easier than if they're paralyzed. So paralysis will also work, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But I personally do think that falling asleep is a little bit better. But having to put him to sleep over and over again can be a little bit obnoxious, so paralysis is another option. Now, strangely enough, Articuno is being much more difficult to catch than Rayquaza, so we'll keep going here. Now, one warning I would give you, as it's getting close to nighttime, because we may have to do this ourselves, uh, similarly to what we did with Rayquaza, you want to be careful if you're playing in a world with aggressive normal Minecraft mobs like zombies and creepers. At nighttime, you could get attacked, and if you die, Articuno, the legendary Pokemon, might despawn. So what I'm going to do while we're trying to catch him here is just build myself a little shelter here. And I'm going to be in here. Oh, and I guess we don't need it. We just caught Articuno. There we go. That's awesome, guys. Uh, but just in case, you could build a little shelter here with walls. And you could sit in here, safe from mobs, and keep throwing Pokeballs. There you go. And that's how you catch Articuno in Cobblemon. If you've enjoyed this video, if it helped, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more Cobblemon tutorials. We have now caught two of the main legendaries that you can catch in Cobblemon, so keep an eye out for the rest of the series. We're going to show how to catch the rest of them.